Hello, my name is James McNames, and I'm here to demonstrate the APDM Opal Movement Monitor, which you can see is currently in its docking station, connected through a USB cable directly to a laptop. In the back here, I also have a wireless access point, which is used for the Opal to transmit uh, data directly to the laptop wirelessly when it's being used in streaming mode. The access point is connected to the computer also by USB cable. So over on the computer, I'm going to start our um, application software, which ships with the Opal and other movement monitors for free. Um, it permits basic operations such as is recording data in streaming mode if, if you have Opals. Um, the device has already been configured, so I'm going to remove it from its docking station. You see when I remove it, this light turns green, and this light turns green. The four flashes are an indication of the battery level. And, uh, and they go through and, and flash periodically. On the application software, I'm going to hit the record button. And this brings up the record window. You can see over here now the access point is blinking rapidly green, which means it's receiving data. And now with the Opal movement monitor, I can move around however I like. And you can see the effects of the data in real time. Let me make this a little bit larger so it's easier to see on camera. So here's the record window, and again, you can see the data streaming through. I'm going to record just a simple uh, clip of a few different types of movements. So I'm going to start recording with the opal suspended uh, in the air by my hand. Uh, you can see a little bit of vibration there. I don't know if that's physiologic tremor or not, but uh, you can see some movement just because my hand isn't perfectly stable. If I set it on the table here for a minute, we can get a recording of what the data is like uh, in stationary mode and get a sense of what the, the noise floor is of the sensors. If I pick the opal up, uh, I can shake it in any direction and excite any of the different axes um, that are being recorded. If I go in this direction, it excites the z-axis of the accelerometers. In this direction is the y-axis, and in this direction is the x-axis. Similarly, you can rotate it and excite the different gyros if you rotate it in the different modes. Let's see, I'm not sure if I got all the different axes. And you can see the effects of the magnetometer here also tracking essentially the orientation or how the device is located relative to Earth's magnetic field. So, so I think that's good enough. I'm going to stop the recording now, and, uh, and that will conclude the demo.